Now, Conservative MP Virginia Crosby recently told GB News that she feels the need to wear a stab-proof jacket when meeting constituents following the horrific murders of Sir David Amos and Joe Cox. Well, we're now joined by MP for Finchley and Golders Green, Mike Freer, to talk about his experiences. Hi there, Mike. I was talking about Morning. the political temperature now being at boiling point, and whether it's people on Twitter, whether it's people on social media, feeling they can say whatever they want about MPs and really whipping up a frenzy. And I thought, well, I was hoping you'd share with us your experiences about what you've been through? Well, I've, um, since elected in 2010, I've had about um, 13 incidents, um, some of them very serious. So the David Amos murderer came to Finchley first um, and he told the police he came to Finchley armed with the intention to harm me. Um, and luckily I wasn't in Finchley that day. But you've had, you know, I've had um, Molotov cocktail, mock Molotov cocktails left on the doorstep, notes left on the car. Um, and on top of that, you know, routine vandalism is almost become low level, whereas in the past that would have been quite serious. And some of the incidents have been very threatening. Certainly it's quite sobering to know that, you know, had I been in Finchley on the day that the murderer uh, came, I, I would uh, probably have been attacked. Um, and it does question what is causing this surge in attacks on MPs. And the, I think some of it is uh, social media, the ability to abuse people without any repercussions, with anonymity. The social media companies certainly don't take it seriously. Um, and then on top of that, I think just generally there's been a coarsening of the debate. Uh, and the, uh, the people think they have the freedom uh, to abuse MPs. Even I have no problem with political debate and disagree with people, but the, the fact that people think that they should be able to be abusive. And you know, I was once uh, followed around Brent Cross shopping centre with someone saying, you're useless, you're useless. I think itself is you know, low level, but you shouldn't have to put up with that when you're out just doing your normal domestic life, let alone doing your public life. This person who went on then to kill uh, David Amys, I mean, he was stalking you, following you around, monitoring your movements. Yeah. So as far as I'm aware, uh, when the police arrested him, having killed um, David, um, they checked his phone and discovered that he'd come to Finchley a couple of times. Um, luckily, I, I wasn't in Finchley that day. Um, you won't hear this very often, but I sometimes slightly lightheartedly say Boris saved my life because on the night before um, was the reshuffle and I'd been moved into the Department for Trade. So I went into Westminster that Friday. Otherwise, I would have been in Finchley doing my surgery as normal. And although I don't do walk-ins, it's all pre-booked, in between appointments, you know, you run across the road, you buy your can of Coke. Um, my agent remembers seeing someone hanging around by the shop. And of course, you walk across and someone says, oh, hello, Mr. Free, you immediately stop. And uh, sadly, if I'd done that, I, I suspect I would have been stabbed.